Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you all again. This is a follow-up to my previous video about the moment anamorphic lens. I'm actually re-recording this video for the second time. I recorded it a couple days ago, posted it, and then I had a commenter quickly point out where I was incorrect. So I took the video down and I didn't take it down because I was corrected. I took it down because I was kind of wrong. So what I talked about in the video was a, another reason that I don't always like to use the moment anamorphic lens. And I forgot to cover this in my original video. I don't script out my videos. I try to plan them. I really do. But as I am not a full-time YouTuber, I don't get a lot of time to plan, much less record my videos. So like right now, the family's out of the house for 30 or so minutes. So I have an opportunity to record. And that's how most of my videos are done. They are done with what little time I get to myself. So sometimes I make mistakes. So I apologize for that. But what I want to talk about was, again, the second reason I don't like to use the moment anamorphic filter all the time. And that is because when you're shooting video and you're trying to do cinematic video, it's usually recommended to slow down the shutter speed to an appropriate speed that matches the frame rate so you get the proper motion blur. Now, if you're shooting with this lens in the middle of the day, uh, there's no ND filter, right? Your shutter speed is going to be very high and the footage isn't going to look correct. So that was my critique about using this lens. The commenter corrected me saying, hey, you can actually get an adapter for the moment lenses. I was like, really? Yeah, I browsed the moment catalog. How did I miss this? So I went back through the catalog and after looking a lot closer, I did find what he was talking about. I must have missed this the first time because in my defense, when I'm looking at product photos, I expect the first one or two photos to tell me exactly what the product does. And honestly, moment, take this as some constructive criticism. These product photos didn't really illustrate to me exactly what this adapter does. Granted, it tells me in the description, but if I'm browsing this on a mobile device, I definitely rely on the photos to illustrate that to me. I'm not always going to scroll down to the description. So to the commenter, thank you for correcting me. Hey, I'm not perfect. None of us are. So I appreciate the correction. However, after looking into this accessory, I still have some issues with it. So there's already an issue that I talked about in previous videos where this adds a lot of weight to my rig, which kind of makes it a little bit tricky to use on a gimbal. And if I add an adapter, with a filter, well, that's even more weight. That's going to be even more challenges for balancing and definitely take me way over the max payload weight. The next problem I have is the filter size. This adapter is for 67 millimeter filters. The filters that I have are 58 and 77. I don't really want to add more filters to my inventory. I'm trying to get rid of some filters, actually. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, you could add a step up ring and use your 77. Let's think about that. Add a step up ring to a mobile device for a 77 millimeter filter. Okay, that's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not doing that. And on top of that, the documentation from Moment actually advises against using a step up ring. I'm not sure why, but they probably have their reasons. So thank you for the correction. And to any of you out there looking at this lens, you are gonna wanna consider how to keep the shutter speed under control. So you might want to consider either one, getting this adapter and getting a 67 millimeter ND filter, or if you don't want to use an ND filter like me, you're going to have to be very aware of the conditions that you're shooting with this. Because the shutter speed, if you want to get that cinematic look, the shutter speed is very important. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next time.